Hey guys, what's up? I am Sam, and welcome to my Origami Dojo. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to fold this handy little origami notebook right here. Perfect for jotting down all those dirty little secrets you don't want anyone else to know. Like this secret I have written down right here. Be pretty embarrassing if that one got out, right? Okay, so we're going to start with a square and on the notebook page color side up. And let's valley fold in half on both diagonals. And then let's turn over and valley fold in half on the colored side, folding it in half, both horizontally and vertically. And now what we're going to do is fold the edges of all four sides into the center, like so. We'll fold the bottom edge in. Then we'll rotate, fold the top edge in, but it's now the bottom edge. Whoa, mind blown. And let's unfold that, and we'll do the same on this side. So, fold the bottom edge in. Then rotate and fold the new bottom edge in. And let's unfold and turn over. And now what we're going to do is fold up to the, to the middle on the crease we just made. And now we're going to fold back down to the bottom edge, folding this neatly in half. And this is what gives us the blue color for an this gives us the color for a notebook. Okay, and now we're just going to reinforce the creases we already made by valley folding through that, and you only have to crease near the bottom here. And you should get something like that. Now we're going to turn over and bring these edges up at 90 degrees like this, so they're standing straight up. And now we're going to bring up this edge here, the edge closest to us, and as we do that, just squeeze these folds in. They'll want to fold in any way, but all we have to do is help them along. Now this step is a little tricky, and you could skip it if you want. It's not totally necessary. But to lock the pages for a neater look, what we're going to do is valley fold this like so. We're going to just valley fold it up into the model, and you have to crease sharply to get it to stay there, like this. So all we did was, we took this bottom edge here and folded it up to the existing crease, like this. So we just folded it up and that takes care of that. And now all that's left to do is collapse the model. So we'll turn over like this so that our boxy thing is upside down. And then we'll just collapse a water bomb base in the center here. So we'll just squeeze the sides in. And make sure all your creases stay lined up and sharp. And you might want to watch these flaps in here. You're going to have to make sure they stay in place. And just flatten it out. And you're going to want to line up all your creases again because they're going to come out of alignment when you collapse no matter how neatly you fold. Not that I fold very neatly, but, you know. Then we'll turn over, and we'll fold in half the entire thing. And just flatten once more. Line it up to... And there we go. Our notebook is basically done. Feel free to write in it to your heart's content. And there's just one more optional step. If you want to get rid of these uh, end flaps here, all you have to do is fold up between the two points here. Uh, it might be easiest if I draw these in. Excuse me a moment. Okay, so we're going to fold between these two points here. This one here, and that one there. And I'll just draw that fold in. We're going to be making a valley fold like that. So just fold it over as far as it'll go in both directions. And you want to be careful, otherwise your paper's going to tear like that. Not pretty. 
Okay, and now we'll just can get rid of that pen. We'll, we'll just fold this flat back. Then we'll unfold it and turn over. We'll just fold this flap here up to the edge. And then we'll just tuck it underneath this top flap here. We'll fold it over. Lift the top most edge and there should be a pocket in here. Just fold over and flip that inside. And there we go. Then all we have to do is flip to the back of our notebook here and do the same thing. So we'll make that fold from this top corner here to this bottom corner here along this line here. I cannot draw straight, but you get the idea. Let's just fold over then fold back along this edge, then turn over, unfold that, fold this up to that edge there, and we'll flip it over and tuck it underneath this top flap here. Okay, might take a little fiddling about. And our notebook is done. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't want to and if you want to add two more secret pages to your notebook, you can just, when you fold it, another one. You can skip folding these in, these things in. And you could just leave them like this, and then collapse. And then when you get to the middle of your notebook, you can just lift these flaps up, and you have two secret pages that no one can see. You can write your deepest, darkest, dirtiest secrets. Not that I have any, but if I did, that's where I'd put them. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and putting up with my antics. If you enjoyed this tutorial, or even if you didn't, I don't care, just subscribe, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, do whatever you have to do. And also, um, if you have any ideas for any future tutorials, just leave them in the comments below or send me a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible.